And here we sit in 2012 with the world still burning oil and gas and coal when we have had all the information we need to have had a completely new civilization. Dr. Stephen Greer is absolutely a hero. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. You know, hundreds of billions of dollars. I think the public would be a little annoyed. All right, sit down and shut up. I was told to pray, not to meditate. I was told to talk, not to listen. I'm learning to listen. The primary purpose is to train people to understand these other civilizations and their cultures. I don't give a goddamn what anybody else says about it. I saw that. But who do you tell without them looking at you like you, you ain't wrapped too tight? And I was a part of a United States Air Force cover-up for 18 years. What we are attempting to achieve is a device which defeats the perpendicular force of gravity. When we look at our data, we lost 7% of weight. We now have the technology to take E.T. home. The consciousness is at once the most familiar thing to us and the most mysterious. It doesn't take much effort if you just clear your mind. People are afraid of looking at technology. Paul Brown's stuff got basically suppressed for many years. He got murdered. The problem is not proving that UFOs exist. It's when you begin to expose the energy and propulsion systems behind how they're getting here.